What's up guys? Welcome back to Conversations with Elena Kimaru. Thank you. Thank you for sticking around and thank you so much for the new subscribers. It's been a minute. I've been away for, for a while and yeah, I'll tell you a little bit about what I've been up to. So on today's video, I wanted to talk about the importance of learning new skills or different skills and probably just tell you how my journey has been with that and why I think it's super super important and also give you like sort of a life update so stick around please come on home and subscribe you know this could be a chance to do so it's free of charge anyway so uh, as i said in today's video i want to talk about uh importance of life skills and or learning different skills so back in high school um i'm in form trading and i loved club hockey uh, you know, schools used to have clubs, used to have like home science, they were junior achievers. So I think every year we were allowed to like move from one club to the other. And uh, I think when I was in form two, I was in home science club. And so they introduced this uh, mat weaving. Like you're supposed to weave mats because it's like, it's, I don't know, science congress, home science, what do you call science congress? I can't remember the name. And basically we were supposed to help those who are, who are participating to make those mats and at some point because it used to be like used to be it on thursdays only and at some point i was like ah it's a lot of work so you know what you do then so, you know, i'm taking it for your kazi you want to relax one of the year and all that and here my focus is mingi ya kushona yeah and basically so uh, after high school that's when i'm like damn by the way you want to do kushona mats Hello, hello. I call a friend of mine. I'm like, you know, just listen. You need to buy tapestry, uzi, crochet. Uh, and they're like, yeah. Actually, here is a number. Call me, say, and then they tell you where you can get them. So I call the number and look, Nairobi. Here I am. I buy the materials, and that's how I started making uh mats. And a friend of mine tells me, eh, make for me. Another one make for me. I'm like, damn. So you can actually turn this thing into a business. Allah. Damn. And that's it. That's one important part of learning a skill. And then I still remember back in high school, I think our school people were so on top of stuff. Yeah, so there was this lady. She used to make uh, beads from paper. And then she would make uh, bangles, earrings, necklaces, you know. And I was like, damn. I really, I wish, I wish she could teach me, but I never got that opportunity to learn from her. So here I am, I'm now in campus, and then I started thinking, after, now that's after I started making mats and I'm selling them, so I started thinking about the beads, I'm like, um, how would I learn such kind of stuff? And anyway, before I even go back to that, when I was eight years old, at eight years, I was already knitting. My mom used to make, you know, Jesus, so I, I, I used to learn from her and I remember it was like a competition because we used to live in a village. It was like a competition amongst uh, young girls to learn how to meet and our parents were great, gracious enough to give us like mm -hmm. for example so they could not hear a cap and then they were looking for me. So then you have to see if there is an opportunity, and then because it will go to me, just move my house in the nini, and then we would recycle this or use it to show them. So my my my, you know, my thirst for these skills, like hands-on stuff, started when I was so ago. Like I was only eight years, nine, ten. Apo, I was already in one nation of the Taiwan. I was already in one nation of the Taiwan. You know, like, and she would teach me so many patterns. Yeah, so anyway, now I'm in campus and I, I want to learn beadwork. I don't know where to get started. I can't find the lady I was talking about. So I decided to Google and I'm telling you, I Googled, I found, I found the, a link and it had the exact thing I was looking for. That's when I knew the power of a Google search. Eh? Before of a Google search, and I remember it was like 12, 12 a.m. at night, and uh, I'm like, okay, what do you need to do this? You need like magazine papers, you need glue, you know, you need varnish. Your papa would do your shine. Hey, 
and I'm looking in the house. I remember we were campaigning for some guy in school. Uh, they were running for a position. So, uh, of course, after all the uh, they called what posters. So after I all the posters we had put up, they, I had like a few remaining, and the campaigns are over. I was like, yeah, exactly. This is what I need. So I I go down there in the house. I take uh, you know I choose some campaign posters in kind of a little bit at night, and then the following morning, of course, I started looking for another way of doing them in a better way, you know, because I had already seen them somewhere. So that's how I I, I began reading. And from there, it was like a marathon. I would look every time I would walk on the streets of Eldoret, every time I would walk into a class, every time I would meet a lady, I remember design plan Yakitu, my eyes were always on their ears, neck, um, collar, come up on an anklet from who. That's what I used to look out for. And I was like, I can go try that. I can try that. I can try that. I can try that. I can try that. So, I, I ended up like learning a lot of new stuff and sometimes when I didn't know how to do a particular design I would actually even go buy something so that they can come back to the house and look at it and I'm like eh, by the way I'm in the Navy, in the Navy, in the Navy. So anyway that's how I learned beadwork and after I learned beadwork I, as I talked about it in another video how I started my business um, after learning that I was like hmm this is the time to do so <laughs> I started selling, I started selling and I was so happy with the with the outcomes. Yeah, so here I am with a whole cashule nini because I make a two sana about your story and uh, I I said to actually start teaching other people. I remember I was in a program where we were encouraged to give back to our communities in uh, through talent, time and treasure. So I was like, yeah, this is my talent or this is a hobby I found that means a year sana as a person. So I decided to teach other people, yes? Yeah, I, I decided to teach other people as a give back commitment. Yeah, man, uh, I was impressed. I was impressed by the results. So for me, I uh, after that then I said I'm like learning. I went to YouTube, I said learning how to crochet scarves. So I said making scarves. And for me, the thing is, what I'm trying to say is, uh, all the skills I learned at some point, especially when I began, when my journey began, or when I started, I never knew how that would help me. But after learning the skill and after trying it out, and after maybe making the earrings and wearing them to class, and people were impressed, I was like, mm, business opportunity, Iko Hapa. Yeah, so that's how, that's how I said selling stuff anyway. And the one thing I would say, learning a new skill for me, self-development has been very key and has helped me build up on something. Because as I said in another video, I always wanted to start a school. I always wanted to like now after learning all those skills, I wanted to help other people learn and you know create opportunities for themselves. You know? Yeah. So uh, I started working. When I start working, see time, I don't have time, I no longer have time to do big work, but as I am telling you, I have a lot of beads in the house. And oh, back up. Before I actually started working, uh, I met this guy online. Uh, he was making bamboo craft. Someone had tagged him on an art, on a piece, a very good piece of art. So I reached out to him. <coughs> His name was Ken. I reached out to him, uh, and I'm like, ah, by the way, do you offer training? He's like, yeah, yeah, actually, I train. I'm like, so where are you based? I'm in Nairobi. Uh, okay, so we, we, we make arrangements and that's how I end up in Nairobi all the way from Nakuru. I am going to Nairobi for the sole purpose of learning how to do bamboo craft. So I met, I met Ken and Ken taught me how to do art pieces, wall hangings. Uh, he taught me how to make spoons, how to make um, wickers, how to make, um, you know, lampshades. Like Ken taught me how to make uh, wall clocks with bamboo and I'm super impressed. I'm like, yes, 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 yes uh, Yeah And that's also how I started also making art from bamboo <laughs> So for me, uh, the, one, the other thing I've learned is if you're interested in something Go for it. Mimi, it's really like if I want to learn something uh, If I don't learn it today, I'm telling you I must learn it. Nikisha, I'm interested in Akitu 
there's usually no going back where it's either I learn it or if I keep procrastinating about it I'll push it, push it, push it Hata kama ni take two years I'll still get back to that thing it's always gonna be in my mind and I'll always be like by the way, you need to try, you need to try this yeah, so anyway, as I said, that's how I learned how to make my own so the, the, the big thing about me is that I am learning these skills and I am not taking any chances. I'm like after I learn what next. Okay, now I know because now I really, I came to realize that that was my strength. It's like I have a gift. I have gifted hands. <laughs> anyway, it's like I have like gifted hands. I can make I can make amazing stuff. I can do things with my hands. So I decided to do all those things. So anyway, when when I quit my job, uh, I talked about why I quit my job. Anyway, when I was working, I could not even do these art and craft kind of thing because I was super busy. So I quit my job. Once I quit my job, uh, I'm like, okay, so what next? Anyway, before I, I quit my job, I, I had already started thinking about what next and all that. Yeah, and then with this guy, he started doing online work. And he's like, you know, you can actually try online work. Okay, I decided to learn how to do that and actually I remember back in 2012 after I joined campus I had this uh, friend of mine in campus who used to give me uh, articles to write for them I was so green but somehow I actually would come up with something they'd be like yes I love your work because I remember when, even when I was in high school but then me, my dream, since I was a kid, I always wanted to be a writer. I'll talk about that another day. I always wanted to be a writer. So in high school, I had written a couple of things from poems to articles to stories and all that. I have a collection anyway. Yeah, so uh, in campus, I I met this guy. I started writing for him. But then anyway, we wasn't making a lot of money. And that was because uh, the rates were so low. Uh, the internet was super expensive, so at some point it wasn't actually making sense, and that's how I stopped working online or maybe writing for that person. So, yeah, now I have quit my job. Someone else tells me, Oh, by the way, you know, you can actually try working online. I'm like, Yes, tafadhali, tafadhali. this is what I really need right now. I need to bounce back because I, have, I don't have any other plans right now, and I'm looking for a job. Yeah, so they, they offered me a bit of training. And of course, since I already had like sort of, I had already tried it a couple of years back, it wasn't super hard. Yeah, and that's how I also I also got an account and boom, do you mean me? Wandika. You see what I'm talking about? Like one thing for me led to another. E in another Like for me, I've always looked at skills as something that can be monetized. And I really feel like uh, kids in schools right now. I don't know about this CPC program. I'm not sure how it's, it's work, it works and eventually it will be a success, but I hope it will be. But according to my mom, I remember during their time, they used to learn like carpentry, they would do homes like cooking, uh, masonry, screening when they were in primary school. And when they got to like class eight and all that, they were really fit to be productive members of society. So for me, that's why I like advocate so much. Huh? I advocate so much about learning skills now to self improve. Yeah, and uh, over the years, that's exactly what I have done. I've taken time to like continually learn something, and I always challenge before I come across. I'm like, you know what? Keep learning. Be flexible. Like have a flexible mind. Learn, learn as much as you can. Out of out of a school kitchen, you may learn something new, and maybe right now you might think that is key up now when you're outside here, but in the near future, it apply. You'll be like, damn, I'm so grateful I went I went through this. So so my journey with learning new skills has been like that. It's been like I'm curious, I want to try this thing, and then I just go for it, and I'll challenge you today. Like whatever is whatever you want to learn, whatever you've been dreaming about, please please. Go for it. It's now or never because you never know. As I said, for me, it's all those skills are the skills right now they built up to actually become like a full blown company, as I talked about in another video. You know, so <laughs> so for me, that's how important skills, like learning skills, has been, or like having this informal type of 
skills. Okay, then comes Corona, you know. Uh, we are in 2020. Corona hits us and um, of course things things stall. Like money measure in the nature, the mini there's not much someone can do. And yeah, so here we are over home. I wanna cause some of us work from home and just commute a little bit. Now I'm I'm at home. And now I'm, I'm at home and there is no much I'm doing. Of course, I'm juggling between writing and a few things here and there. But you know, I have a lot of time on my hands. Yeah, and then someone's, someone's challenge, someone challenges me. They are like, uh, you know what? Why don't we try welding? <laughs> I'm like, what? Are you welding? They are like, yeah, let's en enroll to a class. Of course, it's not like uh, we're going to a vocational debate school. So uh, we decided to, uh, go, to go to a welding shop and then we asked the guy if we can train us and they're like, yeah, we can train you for this much. <sighs> so we enrolled. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So and we're doing this corona. I saw like a lot of memes going around that oh, so you during corona, if you don't come up out with our skills, you know, nene, nene. These things are not meant for everyone. Not everyone can do them. But anyway, if you had the opportunity and the chance and you were able to, to do that, then that's good for you. So for me, I, I took that as an opportunity to learn anyway. So uh, yeah, I, I went for the classes. I learned how to do basic welding and I'm like impressed. Eh? I'm like, Miss Tana, you how well you find You know? <laughs> yeah, and then just recently now, mm, why have you? actually been away from youtube for some time and uh, then uh, after we are done with the welding classes then okay so what next and then the same person is like hey, why don't we go for woodworking classes and i'm like yes 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 let us do that so yeah we enroll for woodworking classes you know we go there for like a, a month and a half like constant every morning because they are talking the basics we are taught to do a few things i was like yes 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 you can do it and anyway as you can see this uh in Akalia, this is something we made this is all this was part of the of the lesson i'm i'm like i was blown away i was blown away by what i could do i was like gifted hands you know, so anyway, what I'm trying to say is, um, for me, skills, I feel like already the education system in Kenya does not give us so many opportunities, or actually people are completing school, and but they are locked out of opportunities. But I believe, like, if you want a skill sky, you can make, like, make a couch come ahead. Now, you're good to go. You can do well, you know, you can cook. You can bake, eh? You can like all those things you think about. Those for me, I see them as opportunities. You can go online, learn how to do social media. You can you can learn how to do article writing. You can learn how to do data entry. For me, I view these as opportunities for us as young people, and especially as Kenyan youth, as a way to create opportunities for ourselves. So. I decided that I will not and I will never limit myself. Whatever I want, the whatever I want, I go for it. And as I said, I, I think it's good to go to school, it's good to learn, it's good to have a college degree or whatever. But this is skills by the way. Sometimes I think this is a popular the most. And I'm not trashing education and all that because this is also informal education anyway. Yeah, but you know the way uh, society or in a in a community, oh, you must go to school, you must become a doctor, so you must become a what? Me, I believe that you can actually become a doctor. You can own a workshop where you are making hand stuff, handmade stuff, and in a income number two. You So when actually you go so maybe you do that you But try investing in try investing in yourself. Try to learn a new skill. Whatever you dream about, whatever you want to do, please go.
go for it. So yes, exactly. So that's what I've been doing for the last like two months where I have been away. Nimekuwa fundi wa mbao, eh? So nimekuwa ndo tumekuwa nikifanya nimekuwa niki nimekuwa nikifanya a lot of working classes. I've learned a couple of things. And yeah, hopefully I will post tutorials about some of the things I have learned. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've been inspired to try something new. And if you want to learn something, start today. Kukwana extra skin, it will not hurt you actually. So go for it. Thank you so much for watching the video. And if you're not subscribed, Habachini, please subscribe today. Thank you so much.